A new report confirms the moose population in Minnesota is declining sharply. 30 years ago, in the northwestern part of the state, there were more than 4,000, but tonight there are fewer than 100. Don Daler went along on a hunt for the moose and clues. Looks like she's been there a few days. The moose of Minnesota are dying, and no one knows why. The state lost 50% of its moose population since 2010. We're probably going to be basing out of either this house spot. Michelle Karstensen of Minnesota's Department of okay. Natural Resources leads a $1.2 million study. We used to have two significant moose populations in our state, one in the northwest, one in the northeast, and the northwest moose population is pretty much gone. In the Superior National Forest, where the snow reached four feet deep in places, researchers in helicopters searched for the thousand pound animals. They braved the harsh winter conditions because the trees are too thick to see the moose in the summer. We were along when they spotted a cow and her calf. A shot from a tranquilizer gun brought the female to her knees. It's very cold here. The wind chills have fallen to as much as 40 degrees below zero. Not exactly ideal laboratory conditions for these researchers. They've set the goal at 20 minutes between darting the animal, harvesting the samples, and getting the moose back on its feet again. She's at 104.6 right now. The team worked quickly to take blood and hair samples and install a radio collar and GPS. A tiny transmitter was placed in the moose's throat to record its body temperature. Oh, that should work good. Even though it's only the second of seven years of research, climate change is a definite suspect. Hold on. Average winter temperatures in northern Minnesota have increased more than four degrees over the past 40 years. Scientists think warmer winters and longer summers may be weakening the heat-sensitive moose and giving wolves more time to hunt them. Parasites also have more time to infect them. So we're kind of a race against time to try to understand what might be driving this. And even if we can figure that out, having a tools on hand to do anything about it is the next challenge. The researchers admit they may not come up with answers before all the moose are gone from Minnesota. But what they ultimately learn may save the moose populations in the rest of North America. Don Daler, CBS News, Superior National Forest.